What are the risk factors for developing myeloma? In general, this is a very actively studied research question, and there are some things that we know, but there are many things that we don't know, and that may reflect the fact that we don't know a lot of the risk factors associated with myeloma. In general, with multiple myeloma, and as with many other blood cancers, some of the risk factors that we do know about include industrial solvents and other chemicals, certain pesticides and fertilizers. But at the individual level, it's always hard to say what may have caused one's myeloma. It's a little bit easier to see those sort of risk factors at the population level. We do see, though, a very interesting um, dynamic with race, ethnicity, and sex with myeloma in that African Americans compared to white Americans have a higher incidence, and men ha compared to women have also a higher incidence. Uh, the number one risk factor for myeloma, though, overall continues to be really age in that we see myeloma to being a disease of the elderly and less so of those in the young. We, we do not typically think of myeloma as being a very heritable condition, but we do see family clustering again at the population level for reasons that we don't fully understand. It, there, it implies that there is some sort of genetic underpinning, which is a very active area of research right now. There's some ongoing cohort studies that have been trying to answer this question, and we'll hopefully see some more data come from them in the coming years. So uh, there are some diseases where uh, we know a lot more about exposures or various factors that predispose, but here's what we know from the population-based and epidemiologic studies, as well as, of course, by observing um, how our patients present and what do they look like. So one very important factor is age. Uh, as we all know, it's the disease uh, uh, of older age, and the average or the median age at diagnosis is uh, between 65 to 67 or 67 to 69 years. So again, older age is one risk factor. Again, that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen in younger patients, but like only about 10% of myeloma patients are younger than 50, and only about 2% are younger than 40. So those of us who take care of myeloma patients do see younger patients, but then they are obviously uh, far uh, rarer than older patients. Uh, uh, second thing, uh, in terms of uh, race or ethnicity, for unknown reasons, um, and again, a lot of work is being done and research is going on, uh, but in the United States, it would be African-Americans, but even uh, uh, Africans outside of United States in the continent, uh, uh, studies show are at greater risk uh, and the incidence in African-American population in the United States is about twice that of, uh, um, uh, of uh, non-African-Americans here. So that is another group that is at greater risk of developing multiple myeloma. We do not fully understand the mechanisms, but people are, of course, doing the work. Uh, it is relatively more common in men. Uh, in most of the population-based studies, it's about 1.5 to 1 ratio, uh, 1.4 to 1 ratio in men. Um, although it's a rare disease, uh, uh, but in patients where one family member is involved, other family members are uh, slight, at a slightly higher risk of developing multiple myeloma. Again, it's a rare disease and there are no universal guidelines for screening the families, uh, but uh, studies have pointed out that there could be a three to four fold increase uh, of myeloma incidence in families. And then there are some um, studies that have pointed out that perhaps uh, increased body weight uh, uh, may be associated with greater risk. So these are some of the uh, risk factors where there is an agreement and where there are more data about myeloma. So um, myeloma is in general uh, a rare cancer. Um, it's the second most, cancer, most common cancer in people uh, in the older age group, um, but um, second most major hematologic cancer in the older age group. Um, but um, as far as the risk factors go, most of these myelomas tend to begin life as an MGUS or a monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. So first of all, if you have an MGUS, then you have a greater chance of developing myeloma. Secondly, um, it's a disease of the older age group. So older age obviously is a risk factor for myeloma. Um, and then patients with certain ethnicity like African Americans uh, tend to be younger when they're diagnosed with myeloma and they tend to have a higher risk for developing the disease. And 
even though we don't say it's an, inher an inherited condition, you know, it does not pass down from your parents uh, to the kids. But if, it, if you have members in your family which have been diagnosed with myeloma, it does increase your risk of developing the disease as well. Is there evidence that exposure to environmental factors can cause myeloma? Yeah, so um, as far as environmental factors goes, we don't have a clear association with environmental factors, but it has been reported that people who may have been exposed to Agent Orange uh, may have had a higher risk of developing myeloma. And pa even patients with certain uh, infections like advanced HIV, they generally have a higher risk of developing malignancies and multiple myeloma could be one of those as well.